Hey guys, welcome to Travel Feels and welcome to another episode of Travel Feels Feedback. Sorry, it's been so long since the last one, but I've just been crazy busy. If you don't know, we had our first baby a month ago and that's just been keeping me really busy. To show you how busy I've been, look at this. This is my office cactus. For those of you who don't know much about plants, that is not what a cactus is supposed to look like. So yeah, needless to say, I've been super busy, but Travel Fields Feedback is not over. I'm gonna keep doing these whenever I can. And if you didn't already see, yesterday I released the Lightroom presets, the Travel Fields Lightroom presets, and why don't we roll the promo? So yeah, if you're a Lightroom user, check out these presets. I think you're really gonna enjoy them. I've been using them for the last couple of months and I really like using them. It's something I collaborated with my younger brother who's a photographer. Go and check him out on Instagram. We worked on these together to make some really cool presets for you guys. And if you're not using Lightroom, you really should be. It's the best program for editing your photos. All right, so there's been a lot of really cool travel films that have been sent in to be reviewed, and I wish I could review all of them, but again, I've chosen three different videos. And if you want feedback on your films, make sure to submit them on Twitter using the hashtag TFFeedback. Follow me on Twitter and tag me in the post, and hopefully I'll be able to get you some feedback on your film. But today we're gonna be looking at movement. Movement is super important for all your films, regardless if it's a narrative film or a travel film, or some commercial project, movement is huge. There's so many different uses for movement, whether it's just making it more cinematic or more interesting, drawing in the viewer with that movement. Movement just adds so much to a film. And especially in travel films, movement is super important, I think. And really, I think there's three big reasons why movement just works so well for travel films. And number one, that would be revealing locations. Movement is just a really good way to just reveal locations, which is what you're doing a lot of times in travel films. You're showing an epic landscape or a city or wherever you're at. You could be moving forward, start real low on a sidewalk and then go up and show the city or, or maybe you're following a character as they're walking onto this huge, big, epic cliff and this wide open scenery. So number one, it's really good for revealing locations. Number two, it really helps to add this sense of exploration, like you're exploring this area, this place, whether it's a city or a forest or a waterfall or whatever it is, it just gives this sense of exploration. Travel films are all about exploring really cool places, so use movement to give the viewer a sense of exploration, like they're there walking around, looking around, and just checking out the place themselves. And then number three is to make the edit flow. Movement can be a really good way to just make your edit flow from one shot to the next. And what I mean by this is, for example, you have a character on a beach. Let's say you wanna get a shot of, of that character. You move from right to left slowly around the character, and then you would go into a drone shot of that beach, again, moving from right to left. And then when you edit those two together, they just flow really well, and that motion stays throughout the edit. So that's what I'm talking about, flow in your edit with regards to movement. So those are the three things that we're gonna be looking at today in our travel films. And the first one is called Cine Vlog number two, Snowdonia, and it's by Gray and Jones Films. And this is a really cool little film from Snowdonia. I actually hadn't even heard of Snowdonia, but it looks like an amazing place. I really like the mysterious vibe, the song, the visuals, they all fit that same vibe really well. Number one, is the movement revealing the location? And I would say yes, I think the drone shots do a really good job of just revealing this really cool location. So yeah, I think number one is definitely covered. Number two, are we getting that sense of exploration? I would say kind of. I think some of the drone shots accomplish a little bit of that, and there is some movement in some of the other shots, but I think that the, the shake is kind of distracting. Now, handheld shake isn't necessarily a good or bad thing, it's just a different look. 
but there is good shake and bad shake. And a lot of times with small light cameras, you end up getting bad shake. It's just too light, too flimsy, and it ends up shaking too much too fast. And also I think there's some sort of either in-body stabilization or lens stabilization that's kind of making it not organic and jerky a little bit. And I don't really like that look. The bigger, the heavier the camera, the more smooth this handheld look will be. But in this case, I think a gimbal or a steady cam or something like that would have really made this edit a lot better and just helped with that sense of exploration instead of distracting the viewer with that shake. And number three is where I think this edit is lacking. I don't think the flow is quite as good. For example, in the first two drone shots, you're going forwards and then all of a sudden you're going backwards. I would keep that flow going forward. So even if you have to just reverse that second clip, keep that it's nice and smooth and keep that flow going. And that's why it's super important when you're filming to actually give you some different options. For example, you could have done this same shot going forwards and backwards and then maybe you're going from right to left and left to right. So you you have a bunch of different options. Whenever I'm filming, let's say a character, I'm always doing the same shot in a bunch of different ways. So I'm gonna go from right to left, slowly pan around the character, and then I'm gonna do that same movement going the opposite direction because I don't know what I'm gonna need in the edit. I don't know what clip is gonna go after that or before that. So this gives me more options in the editing room to just keep that flow of movement. One thing I will also say is that these transitions are not needed in this video. I think they're super distracting, they don't fit the mood, they don't fit the song, they don't fit the pacing. I think they're super gimmicky in this edit and I would just cut them out right away. I think it actually makes this edit look a little cheap and without them it would have been much better. So just cut those out, don't think you need to do these fancy transitions just because other people are doing them. But overall I really like this edit, good job of mixing the drone shots and the other shots, keeping the characters in there, I really like this, well done. Next we're going to be looking at First Class Views North Avenue Beach by Will Ryan. And this is a really cool little drone edit. There's a lot of really cool shots in here, but we're only really hitting one aspect of movement and that's the revealing locations. That's about all there is that's going on in the movement. You're showing a bunch of different versions of the same shot pretty much. So yes, we're getting that nice reveal of the location, but we're not getting much of that sense of exploration in this edit. If you would have, for example, just taken your friends to that pier, you would have gotten some shots, you know, with a glide cam or steady cam or whatever, following your friends walking onto that pier and then just hanging out on that pier and going back and forth between the drone shots and the shots of you guys hanging out on that pier. It would have been so much better, a hundred times better easily. And that would have given the viewers really a sense of exploration in that location. We would have seen it from the air, but we would have also seen it from the land and what it's like to actually be there yourself. Also, I don't think the flow of the edit is super good. I think it's a bit choppy in a lot of the edits and the movement doesn't really continue from one shot to the next. So I'd say you're kind of lacking on number three also. But overall, for a strictly drone edit, I really like this, but I do think that you should go the extra distance and really just take the effort to bring your friends there, hang out, get some really cool shots on top of those drone shots. Even if it takes more effort, which it will, it'll make your film so much better. And that's what you need to be doing if you wanna take filmmaking seriously. But great job on this one, I really enjoyed it. All right, so now the pick of the day, and this is actually probably my favorite travel film so far that I've seen submitted. And it's called Tahoe 2 by Cody Blue. Oh, look at that, I'm rhyming. This film is really awesome, I really liked it. Right away, the music started and I just got this good feeling and the visuals didn't disappoint either. I think it just all fit really well together. And one of the big reasons why this is my pick of the day is because it hit all three of my points on movement. It reveals the location in some really cool ways and throughout the film it's showing more and more of the location in different shots. I really liked how you use the movement to just reveal these locations. And number two, I really felt that sense of exploration with all those different kind of moving shots. Not only just the drone shots, but also the steady cam or gimbal shots, not sure what you were using here. It really gives me the sense that I was there myself, hanging out and just exploring this place with those guys. Nice smooth movements with characters. It really works well. I really liked what you did with the movement and just exploring the location. And number three, the flow works really well with the movement from shot to shot. There were some really cool edits, no fancy transitions, just really cool edits flowing with that movement, going from one shot to the next. It just worked really well together. This film really hits a lot of the points that I've been talking about. It's nice and short and sweet, less is more. 
the music and editing and the pacing all work really well together. And there's a clear story. There's this couple exploring Tahoe and just having a good time enjoying the summer there. This really was the best travel film that I've been sent so far. Great job on this, Cody. I really enjoyed this film. If you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. It's worth watching. All right, thanks guys for submitting your films. And the next time you're filming something and you're thinking about movement, make sure you're thinking about revealing locations. Use the movement to give the audience a sense of exploration. And three, use movement to make your edit flow. So that's it for me today, guys. Make sure you check out the Lightroom presets or the Cine LUTs for your videos if you haven't already done so hit that like button subscribe to the channel i'm really happy that every single one of you are here and guys enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels